안녕하세요. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to introduce the easiest kimchi recipe, green onion kimchi, pa kimchi. In this video, I will show you how to make it step by step, and I guarantee that anyone can make it this kimchi with ease. So let's make it together. Put one cup of water in a pot. If you have a dried kelp, add one piece to the water. This will make it much more savory. If you don't have it, you can skip this step. Bring the water to a boil. Add about one and a half tablespoons of glutinous rice flour to a separate bowl. Add a half cup of water and stir well. If you don't have glutinous rice flour, you can use regular flour. Stir well. Once the water in the pot starts boiling, remove the kelp. Add the glutinous rice flour mixture to the pot. When you add the glutinous rice flour mixture to the boiling water, it will quickly become a glutinous rice paste. Let it boil for another minute over low heat. Adding the glutinous rice paste helps with the fermentation and helps the seasoning to mix evenly. This is the right thickness for the paste. Let it cool well. Green onions are slightly different in Korea and the US. Korean's green onions are a little thin and American green onions are a little big and thick. It would be better to use thin green onions for pagimchi. Here's how to prepare the green onions. Cut off the roots and cut off a little of the ends. If the outer leaves of the green onions are yellow or not fleshy, remove them. Since there may be soil on the green onions, rinse them thoroughly with water two to three times. Drain the water from the green onions. The green onions have already been trimmed and washed. If you have trimmed and washed green onions, making pa kimchi is one of the easiest kimchi dishes to prepare. Making seasoning. Pour half cup of fish sauce into a large bowl. Add half cup of red pepper powder. Add about three quarters cup of glutinous rice paste. Add two tablespoons of honey. If you don't have honey, you can use sugar. If you have a pear or apple, grate half of it and add it. Today I will add an easy to find apple. Add a little bit of ground ginger. If you add too much ginger, it may become bitter. Since green onions have a slightly spicy taste, it's better to make the seasoning a little bit salty and sweet. First, coat the white part of the green onions with the seasoning. For the leafy part, just apply a little bit of seasoning. Green onion doesn't produce much water, so you don't need to salt and drain it. When mixing, gently mix it to ensure that the seasoning is evenly distributed. Green onions is rich in vitamin A, which helps with eye health, prevents colds, and is rich in vitamin B1 and B2, which is good for restoring energy. It is also rich in vitamin C, which boosts the immunity. When making the pa kimchi, rotate well and put it in a container. Although it may seem like there is a lot of it now, after a day, the green onions will have a shrunk in the seasoning, making it look smaller. Finally, sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. This is optional. How to store? Leave it at room temperature for about a day and then store it in the refrigerator. If you eat pa kimchi right after making it, it can be a bit spicy. However, after it's been allowed to sit for a while and partially fermented, the spiciness will diminish. It tastes great with warm rice or grilled meat. The spice and savory pa kimchi goes so well with grilled meat dishes. How was today's recipe? Hope you enjoyed the delicious flavors of green onion kimchi. I will see you next week. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. Bye bye.